Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. Pipe on the Patio. Sunny afternoon edition. It is 90 degrees out here on the patio right now. Here in San Diego. At 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> Actually looks like it's down to 88. So... It was 90 when I came out here, but I think it's coming down now. The sun's starting to go down here behind the trees. And today I am smoking my Savinelli 320 2017 St. Nicholas. And in it smoking one of my favorite, my all-time favorite Virginia blend, uh, New Minster 400 Superior Navy Flake. Love this stuff. Mm. Only Virginia that I truly can say I love to smoke. Straight Virginia, just straight Virginia's is what I was told, and it's fantastic. Oh, tastes so good, smells so good. Everything about this smokes so great, no tongue bite. That was the thing I loved most about it was that it was the first Virginia that I had that did not bite my tongue at all. Just a wonderful It's almost like it's been toasted or or um, yeah, some guys uh, stove their Virginias. This is what this kind of tastes like, like it's been stoved, but it hasn't. It's got that nutty, toasty flavor to it that is just so dang good. And inexpensive. So... I mean, it's like three bucks an ounce. Um, <clears throat> I've got it at Pipes and Cigars. I've got it at Smoking Pipes. Two eighty, three bucks, three ten, three twenty, somewhere around there all the time. I buy it by the pound now because I love it so much. Just so good, so good. And it's only going to get better as it ages. This is, you know, fairly new. I got this. Uh, we got this in November. So I've had that since November. And you put some age on this stuff, and it's going to be amazing. I'm actually going to stove some of this. Let me just stove what's in that jar right there, since I have a big old jar of it in my cellar. Unstoved.
and see how it comes out stoved. So. Birds are chirping. Gorgeous blue skies, little white. Just barely there, clouds up in the sky. Wispy. Gorgeous day. So I was going through some stuff in my closet and I had a camera um, case in there, a hard shell camera case and I was like, I remember putting this in here, <clears throat> opened it up, found an old Nikon film camera, because I was always a film guy, I've never gone digital, always other than on my phone. But as far as taking pictures, it was always film. I'm old school, I guess. So that was kind of fun. To, I ordered a battery for it. It'll be fun to get back into taking some pictures. I just got to find places that will develop 35 millimeter film. <laughs> That's getting harder and harder to find. There's a local place here in San Diego that does it. George's Photo. So sure they'll be expensive but I won't be taking that many so not like when I was young and I was doing 10 15 rolls a week just going out driving around taking pictures I had a camera with me everywhere I went I wish I had my Nikon F4 back. I loved that camera. That was my favorite. That one and the Minolta Maxim 9000 were my two favorite cameras that I ever owned. With the, with the winders on them, so that, you know, you just take the picture and it would just wind to the next frame I used to love man I just love taking pictures of I'd like to get back into that out here. I was more into nature photography. I didn't take pictures of my family, stuff like that, but most of the time I'd, I'd drive around looking for stuff to take photos of and out in nature drive around and find a location and then go back there and either early in the morning or late in the afternoon is to get that golden light. Uh, but I love film cameras. I just there's something about film and having to actually do it right to get a good picture rather than manipulating it after you've taken the picture I just to me there's more um, reward from a film camera because you got to learn how to actually take pictures control the camera and get what you want from it and you can't just use a program to fix everything, you know?
and I sold a bunch of my film cameras because my daughter wanted a digital camera and so I sold pretty much all of my did all of my film cameras my Nikons and everything to get her into a digital camera so when I found this one it was like oh, I still got one you know still got one I could use and found a 200 70 200 millimeter zoom lens in another case that I had and that I can use on it. So. Uh, I miss the days of film cameras. <laughs> Yeah, I'm old. I'm old and antique. I missed that Nikon F4. That was some kind of camera. We're probably couple hundred bucks now if that on eBay film cameras are so cheap now nobody wants them I'd like to get into digital at some point but man, it's just too expensive man and you can't use the You know, the lenses that aren't made for digital. They're non-autofocus non lenses. But boy, Dean's photo loved me. <laughs> I'd give her 15... 15 rolls every week. <laughs> they gave me all kinds of discounts. We were giving me the professional discount. And it was costing me, you know, nothing to get them developed and printed. I mean, compared to what it regularly cost. And I was just doing so much that their manager was like, yeah, yeah we're giving you a discount. You're in here more than anybody else, so. That was fun. Always taking pictures of bands when I'd be out playing and and uh, going places. And I gotta break out my. I got all my photos in a big metal box. I gotta pull those out and go through them. Anyway, that's what's been going on today. Discovering old things that make me happy. So, and enjoying a wonderful bowl of Newminster 400 Superior Navy Flake in a wonderful pipe. Doesn't get much better than this. I will catch you guys later. I'll see you later on tonight. Have a good one. God bless.